Well everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Empire of Light by writer-director Sam Mendes and shot by Roger Deakins, composed by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. And from a technical standpoint, this film is absolutely gorgeous. Mendes knows how to direct the hell out of this. Deakins is the best in the game, and this is an absolutely gorgeous and textured and just atmospheric experience with wonderful lighting, perfect framing, and just the music from Ross and Reznor is atmospheric. It lays a tone throughout the whole entire film. There's some melancholia going on. There's just a feel to it. It feels very textured. The Empire Cinema comes to life. This is such a wonderful ode to the love of the theater, going to the movie theater. This early 1980s coastal movie theater is absolutely gorgeous. It feels like a whole character into itself. And I love the moments where the film relishes in this place what it is, what it used to be. Now, the main focus of this story is a woman... Hillary, played by Olivia Coleman, who deals with mental health issues, who winds up falling in love with a young black man, Stephen, played by Michael Ward, and the two of them have an unlikely relationship that has complexities as Stephen has to deal with the racism and the bigotry of the day, and Hillary has to deal with the balance of having the meds to treat her ailments versus the lack of feeling that her medication might put on her and this film tries to tackle a lot and I feel like that's one of its biggest weaknesses it's very messy in that way and it's very on the nose and how it portrays its themes and ideas and at some time it just feels so out of left field when certain things happen that just feel like this is taking this to a whole other level that it didn't really earn and from a screenplay perspective, I do think this is probably one of Mendes' weakest because it's trying to do so much and not really adding the depth or the subtlety of the language that really brings that to life and trying to tackle some very challenging ideas of mental health and racism and not really digging in the way that they need to, to be done with respect. You do have, like, Coleman gives an amazing performance. She has some moments where she's just killing it. You have Ward, who is a perfect match to her and really sells it. You have Colin Firth, who's the despicable, like, manager of this theater. You have Toby Jones, who is our projectionist, and his inclusion in this film is so great. He's a great supporting piece and also the way that we get to see how the projection room works and how the light, which is light is such a light and darkness is such a big theme here in this film, and you get to see how it fits into the movie aspects of it. And how this all pieces together is quite moving and engaging, and there's just so many pieces to this film that are firing on all cylinders. And I just absolutely loved the technical aspects of this, the performances. I just wish that the actual story in the script was up to snuff. And in many ways, it leaves you frustrated and confused and a bit, maybe even a bit more than a bit, disappointed. So this is definitely one of those films that I wanted to love, but I just kind of felt hollow about it in many ways by the time you get to the end of this film, and that's the biggest disappointment of all. But I do think that it has a lot of merits that will make it at least worth checking out. But those are my thoughts on Empire of Light. Let me know, you will, let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.